Hi, this is AJ. Welcome back to The Handyman Process. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about paying yourself. So the topic of paying yourself is always a little bit confusing and misunderstood, especially for new folks getting into the business. Uh, what I'm gonna talk about today is paying yourself if you are a sole proprietor or a single member LLC and for the purposes of taxes and paying yourself, it's, they're one and the same. Uh, if, you're, if you're curious about the differences between an LLC and a sole proprietorship, uh, go back and check out some of my other videos. The LLC essentially just gives you um, some liability protection and, and separates you a little bit from uh, some of the assets that you work with. But anyway, when it comes to paying yourself, if you're, like I said, if your business is a sole proprietorship, partnership, or, or an LLC, you, the owner, are not an employee of the business. You cannot hire yourself as an employee. Uh, this, this point of the law is often uh, like misunderstood by, by new business people, and even me when I first started out. And I have an MBA, and, and uh, a little embarrassing, but I, I didn't, I didn't completely know because I've been a W two employee, you know, my whole life. Uh, so you cannot pay yourself. A, a wage and deducted as a business expense. So how do you how do you pay yourself? Well, first of all, you have to have some bookkeeping in place. And again, go back look at some of my earlier videos that talks about banking and bookkeeping. You should be keeping your money for your business separated from your your personal stuff, and you should be keeping track of it. But whenever you pay yourself your money, what you're doing is you're withdrawing money, preferably from your business account, and then you're using it for personal expenses. That could be kind of considered the definition of, of paying yourself. But in reality, anything that's profit in the company, um, revenue minus expenses is profit. And then whatever that money that's there, if you take that out and pay for yourself, that's considered your salary. Even if you leave it in the company, it's still considered your salary because at the end of the year, it all gets reported in your taxes and something called the Schedule C. Uh so it's important as you're going along to, to keep track of this. What is my revenue? What are my expenses? How much do I want to pay myself? How much do I want to set aside uh, for taxes? So it's a slight nuance. Um, and the, the technical term for paying yourself as a single member or sole proprietor is an owner draw. You drew money from the company for your own personal account. But just keep in mind and remember, from in the eyes of the IRS, um, any money that you made as a profit was paid to yourself because it's reported in your taxes at the end of the year. So if you don't reinvest it in, in purchasing equipment and whatnot, it's considered pay and will be reported as such. Um, I should have made a disclaimer at the beginning of this. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a CPA. Um, so I, I recommend you do some due diligence and some more research on this topic if you want a little bit more insight to it. Uh, but if uh, if you search around what I'm telling you, you're going to verify that that these are uh, these are facts, at least you know in terms of my own research. Anyway, I know it's confusing. If you have any questions on it, if you're, especially if you're a new guy trying to figure this out, how do I pay myself? What do I do? Go check out my banking video where I kind of explain how I do it, how I do the owner drawers, and how it works for me. Anyway, hopefully it's helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment and uh, stand by for the next video. Appreciate it. Bye.